Officer Egan, um, how long have you worked with the Twin Falls Police Department? Six years. How long um, did you train for um, through a local program? I'm assuming it was through a CSI. Is that accurate? No. <coughs> um, where did you get your training? I had a whole post in Meridian. Okay. Did you do post follow up in, in Jerome? I don't know what that is. So oh, post. You just mentioned post in Jerome. I think ISP has posts. I, I said post in Meridian. Right. I understand. But I, I was curious as if you had any additional training other than um, the post in Meridian, if they do any follow up post. In. Came back to the Twin Falls Police Department, completed a 14 week field training officer program. Okay. Cool. Uh, 14 weeks, six years. You came to the area what year? To Twin Falls? Yes, sir. Um, maybe 2011. Okay. Meridian. What year was your post in Meridian? It's pretty significant event, I think. Like going to be graduate. August of 2013. In Meridian, you came to the area in 2011. Uh -huh. Into the question or the form of the question? Mm, it's a, it's a, it's a leading question. Uh, it is a leading question. That's sustained. Mr. No. Thank you. Thank for you. Time, Officer Egan, could you describe for the court uh, the relationship? Can I object again? I mean, this sounds like a leading question again, doesn't it? Because he's being very specific. He's stating, can you describe the court X? It's like, what? A direct examination is more like, hey. Well, let's let's let him finish his oh, question first. Oh, sorry. I just <coughs> Officer Egan, would you inform the court the relationship between the three exhibits? All three exhibits um, basically feed off one another. You have the original one from the call of the domestic. Within that, Officer Beige sees an individual that matches the description, stops that. So from the first exhibit, creates the second exhibit, or the second call for service. Um, within that second call for service, Mr. Matson comes up and approaches us, and I go and contact Mr. Matson. That creates the third call for service, or the third exhibit. Thank you. Is this an objection? Is this as a, um, a witness or as expert testimony, I would say? And, it, and it's be more specific. It's. Your Honor, I'm going to move the court for a Rule 18-11 that there be an evaluation done. I don't believe we can move forward in an effective manner. And I don't believe Mr. Matson's able to they love doing perform this. his own defense without the assistance of public defender or an evaluation. It's messed up. You know, I respect the law, and I've been saying this a long time. So I have some procedural questions, and I don't have the education these guys do. But don't threaten me with, with sending me to Blackfoot, the state of Idaho, whatever that place is. It's disgusting to even present that as, as a 18212 just because you can't formulate a proper argument. And I have concerns about this gentleman's statements. The motion for 18211 is denied. I think Thank Mr. You. Madison, uh, while he may not be schooled and seasoned in the law, he seems to be understanding the basics of the proceedings, probably not the nuances of them. Yes, yes. But um, he seems to be able to present. Uh, a defense and um, he understands the role of each person in the courtroom um, his thought process seems logical to me um, and so the motion is denied thank you Honor. officer Egan um, with regard to the domestic were there any other I give you reasons all day one it, it would be nice for the new employer for two I obviously didn't um, have all my ducks in a row, and I'd like to give you guys the respect since it has been since August, and I think that you guys um, are able to afford me a fair and meaningful hearing. I know Marcy's Law is an Arizona law, but um, and it's mostly based on the um, plaintiff, but but automatically I should be awarded a fair and meaningful hearing, um, and I, I think you have done a very good job, and Thank I you. would wish that you would further allow me to have that fair and meaningful hearing by. Um, Understanding the procedure a little bit more granularly than um, I'm, I'm a macro right now. I need to get uh, granular, really, really, really small on, on, on procedures and the things. I mean, this is all I do now, and it. it um, I knew a little bit. I mean, I did okay from what you understand, but I could be doing better. I I, I certainly have seen that you've um, 
studied and prepared yourself. Uh, many of your objections were sustained. Um, yes, the yes. verbiage you used uh, seemed to comport with the style of hearing we were having today. Um, so yes, you were prepared. Um, the motion continues tonight. Okay. Uh, we'll see yeah. you on Thank Wednesday you. at 8.30 a.m. Um, ready to go. Vordier is the pronunciation of that. We were, we, you and I, Sam we were just kind of going back and forth, but I had to look that up before we met today. Or dear. So, that is kind of funny. Hey, hey, thank you for the awesome day. All right, we'll be in recess. I give you reasons all day. One, it, it would be nice for the new employer. For two, I obviously didn't um, have all my ducks in a row, and I'd like to give you guys the respect since it has been since August. And I think that you guys um, are able to afford me a fair and meaningful hearing. I know Marcy's Law is an Arizona law, but 